What's up guys, it's Josh again with a second blueprinting tutorial. This time instead of working with lights, we're going to work with collars again, but we're going to actually change these collars inside of blueprints. So yeah, we're going to need to do a material thing, but blah, blah, blah. Let's get started. No more talking. All right, here we go. I'm going to drag in this mesh I have here. It's a tube. I'll we'll set it right here. Um, it kind of looks like a roll of toilet paper, but you know, don't judge me. We need a material for it. Right click, material, name a collar. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, simple enough, we've done this 100 times, hold the number three, bam, you've got a vector there, you can plug it in, and you can change the collar to a pretty pink, feminine, girly collar, or you can be blue, or you can be green, but the problem is, you're not going to be able to change it on the fly. You're just going to be confined to this, these values. So, get rid of that and type in vector P for vector parameter. Now you have a vector that is a parameter, which means that parameter, if you know how, can be changed later. And oh, oh, we're going to change it. So, instead of it being name... Or none, I'm sorry, it says none. That's the name of our vector parameter. We're going to name it collar as well, just to keep it simple. And since it's named collar, we just need to remember that so we can call it later. So there we go. We got a pink material. Now, you can just drag it on. I mean, oh, sorry, I didn't save it. You can just, when we're finished here, you can just drag this, this collar onto the mesh. And that's fine. We've done that, and it works. But here's the problem. The mesh itself does not know. I mean, if you drag another one in, you gotta, you know, you just gotta keep doing that. You may just want to just double click on here, and I recommend it. And here's this, here's its, here's its material. Just drag the collar over there. Bam, save it. Now, every time you drag one in here, it knows, it knows. So, you know, we'll just get rid of all these. And now let's create our blueprint. We're not going to go into the blueprint here. We're going to create a blueprint based off this object. So right click, blueprint, actor, tube, BP. BP stands for blueprint, obviously. All right, anyway, I think I spelled it wrong. Let's double click on it. We are jumping into this very, eh, It's it, this is very simple. You're probably like, oh, God, I'm lost. Just calm down. Add a component, static mesh, name it tube you don't have to be dramatic like me static mesh what is it it's called tube there it is we named it it's the, that's the model that we were adding the material to bam there it is so now actually all you have to do is grab the tube bp bring it into your map and bam it's there now it doesn't have any functionality but hey double click back on it and you can look into the graph look at that there it is we've been here the components is where you are just in case you got lost there components are here and the graph is where you do this so let's jump into here let's make this thing serious event begin play if you remember this is the event that is fired as soon as the game starts so as the game starts i want to change the color to be random every time just like we did with the lights grab in your tube variable or component i apologize drag a wire create dynamic material instance I need to create an, an instance of that material and affect it. What material? Right here. We named it collar. There it is. We need to drag a wire from here. And what do we need to do? We need to take the vector parameter and set the value. So set vector, the parameter. I mean, honestly, just do exactly what you want. So basically, what did we name it? We named it collar. There it is. And what color do we want it to be? We're going to make a color because we want it to be super random. And we did this last time. Just random. Float in range. We need that. It needs to be between 0 and 1. 0 being nothing. 1 being full. Control W. Copy. Drag in. Control W. Whoa, 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 whoa. Copy. Drag in. So now the red, the green, and the blue channels are all being randomly picked at the beginning of the level. As soon as you press the play button. Let's jump in here. Press play. Bam. It's doing stuff. Escape. Press play again. Yeah. It works. Just like the lights. It works. But, you know, and, and, and uh, just, just for the sake of fun, we ended up getting rid of that. And we added an event tick to function this as well or to you know run this network as well now event tick is not just once it runs every split second every frame so it's going to be completely randomly at full speed changing collars and you'll be able to tell i mean there it's doing its thing it's booking it it's flying uh now you can you can adjust the speed of that basically i mean you know with a little bit of math i mean let's say you only wanted to change every 0.2 seconds which would be you know it'll change collar about about five times a second obviously and you see that it slowed down so, you know, you can play with that, but what I wanted to show you today is a really neat trick with blueprints. Um, it's not really anything too complicated, but basically, this network just needs to be fired with an event of any sort. And I've showed you a couple, but check this out. I'm going to type in left mouse button. And now that it's plugged in, bam, you're thinking, oh my, oh my. You know what I'm saying? Just jump in, go right here. You press the button, 
no, no, that's, uh, that's, that's not gonna do it. The reason is because this blueprint does not know that the player controller is allowed to, 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 to change the function of this, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get that event begin playback, and let's, let's, let's get the player controller. So, get player controller. Bam, there she is, and let's drag a wire and enable input. So if you think about what's happening there, just look at it. Just, just, it's, I know it's a little strange. You want to get rid of this because you want the player controller to go in here. It's very serious. And the target, you want to be self because that's the blueprint. This is what we're affecting, the self. So let's read it at the beginning of the level. Get the player character and, and allow it to make changes. And if, now that it's allowed, if it presses the left mouse button, it will affect this. So now we're going to jump in here, and it's going to be like, bam, bam, bam. Every time you pl click the mouse, it changes colors, or it sets. It does as you wish. You can run around and click at the same time, multitasking and things. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, just another simple blueprinting tutorial. It's going to take a while to jump really deep into this, but it can get extremely complicated. Please, subs uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you don't mind, and like the Facebook page. And I'm going to try to keep you guys updated with more tutorials, probably two a week, if I can. But there's more things coming up. Uh, like I said, just stay tuned. And I think we're going to do another blueprint video next. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.